morning everyone welcome back to my channel today we are chilling in the car because today is a grocery haul day we are doing some shopping for some food i've got literally no food in my house and it is time to stock up my fridge and my pantry and everywhere else i put food in my house and we need to grab some food uh weekly grocery haul and if you've never seen these before sometimes i take you with me sometimes i don't we'll just see what happens when we get into the shop but my budget is a hundred dollars 115 max that's, i don't like going over 115 but mostly i keep it under 100. i have a feeling today's going to be over just because there's a bunch of stuff on my list that i normally don't put on my list but we need so we're gonna go grocery shopping so let's go <laughs> up going over budget just a little bit normally I like to stick to a hundred dollar budget but unfortunately today that wasn't the case but we're gonna go home and I'm gonna share with you guys what I got from the grocery store we're back home and we're in the kitchen and this is where I always do my grocery hauls please do not mind the dishes on my sink I just haven't put them away yet this morning Frederick is currently sleeping so I've got heaps of time to chat with you guys about the groceries that I got today and I got a lot of them surprisingly I wrote out a list and I got a few extra things that I didn't write on my list but we're gonna go through the things that I got and why I got them and also how much I spent today first thing that comes in that bag is my milk I tend to get whatever's cheapest at the time it's either vista soy or blue diamond um but this one was half price so we got um three of them because they were half price and we go through milk quite a bit so we got three milks for my pantry i also grabbed some frozen berries because we ran out and i love frozen berries and they just are so good for so many different things so i got them for mainly smoothies let's be honest mainly Movie. I also grabbed these bad boys. I'm so excited to try these. So I've tried the vegan Magnums that have recently come out and the Cornettos came out at the same time as the Magnums, but I haven't tried them. I haven't never seen them in stores yet. They've been out for a couple of weeks now and I finally found them. So I decided to pick up the Cornettos to give them a go and I hope I like them because they were hella expensive. Next thing in my big bag, I have some pasta sauce. So I get this bad boy. Normally it just what is ever on special, but I tend to get this brand. I also have some perfectly formed tofu in here. We eat tofu like crazy in this household and Frederick loves it. So we need to get a new one because we ran out a couple of days ago. I also got some falafels. This is the sesame seed falafels. I love these bad boys. So in this bag, I also have some cleaning products. So I've got my floor and surface cleaner. This is plant-based and it's also cruelty free. And I also like it because it is in a recyclable bottle. I normally don't get this brand, but this is a good brand to get. The last thing I have in this bag is some barbecue sauce. This is the original barbecue sauce, seriously. I think everyone thinks this is so much better than like other barbecue sauces. This is like the good kind. When I was a kid and we got barbecue sauce, we would get like Fountain or whatever brand there is out there. And then dad would spoil us with this one. And this was like the holy grail of barbecue sauces. So I tend to get this one for our household. Because the next bag is just as full as the other one. No joke. It is jam packed full of stuff. So we do have cat food in here, which I'm just gonna get out of the way because we're not eating that, the cats are. So I have their dry biscuits because my cats eat like, like they're gonna starve and they just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. And I also got them some wet food. Um, also in here is Tiger's dog roll. I know people will be like, but you're vegan, dogs don't need meat. My dog needs a good diet because he's got arthritis and I know there's other things I can give him, but right now he's just living on a dog roll. So I also got some bread. Uh, I just get wholemeal bread. That's the bread I usually get. And I got some hummus. Frederick really wanted hummus. And yeah, we just got this bad boy because it's the brand we always get. 
So we got some hummus. I also got some rice. This is the Super Grains Tri Blend Rice. It has brown rice, red rice, and quinoa in it. And this is the only rice that Frederick will eat because it's called baby noodles in his head. But he will eat it. So And he likes all the different colors. So this is a really good rice for kids. So I'm really happy that Frederick likes this because it has brown rice, red rice, and quinoa in it. So I'm really happy he likes his baby noodles that much. I did have a second packet of the rice, so we got two packets of those. We also got two packets of these fantastic uh, oriental noodles. Frederick loves noodles, so we got two packets of those. I also got some pasta. Frederick actually picked out the pasta today, and this is not gluten free, I'm pretty sure. No. It's not gluten-free, um, but he wanted shells. And unfortunately, gluten-free pasta, they just don't have little shells. So we had to get this one, and my stomach is going to hate me. Hate me after this. Hate me. Because my stomach does not agree with gluten, especially pasta. I ended up also getting some new sponge heads because my sponge head is currently looking a disaster. You want to see my sponge head? Look at this. Look at this bad boy. He, he needs... He's going to the grave tonight. He is going to the grave. Um, so we got some new ones. I'm pretty sure these were on special, so that's why I also got them. Plus, I really needed them. Frederick decided he wanted a treat, so we went and got him some little chocolate bars. This is what we call Frederick his chocolate bars. So these were on special. These are the choc orange bars. They're gluten-free. Oh, no, they're not vegan. I just realized. Yes, they are. They're vegan on the side, but these are like literally gluten-free, lunchbox friendly, mod, mod, fod, mad friendly, egg-free, wheat-free, vegan, GMO-free, source of fiber and no artificial colors, flavoring or preservatives. So this is like a great little snack for Frederick. So he wanted to try the choc orange flavor. Actually, I just pointed, I was like, get that one because that one's only $3 and the other ones are five. So we got this bad boy. More hummus. Um, these are the little takeaway containers. We tend to get little ones and big ones. One for home because he has hummus nearly every single day. Or we tend to get these little travel ones so we can put them in his lunchbox when we go out and about through the day so we can still have hummus because my kid loves hummus. The last food that I ended up getting is just some taco seasoning. We're going to use these for a couple of dishes this week. So I got two. And the last thing I got was just another cleaning product. So this is the Organic Choice Air Freshener and Linen Spray. I've actually never tried this. I've tried their brand before and I really like their brand. This also has no palm oil in it, which makes me super happy. But I just needed it to spray my carpets and spray my couches and just make the house smell a little bit more fresher. So that's why I got this bad boy. I just realized that is not the last thing in my grocery shop. <laughs> I've got a whole bag here full of veggies and fruits, so we're going to go through this bag because it is not my last bag. So in my bag full of veggies and fruits, I actually got this at a different store than I got everything else. I normally tend to get my veggies at a fresh food market or a Chinese market, whatever you want to call it. So I got some strawberries. Unfortunately, they don't have strawberries outside of the packet, which I tend to try and gravitate towards, especially with my veggies and fruit, is I tend to grab stuff that aren't packaged because I like to minimize my plastics. Unfortunately, strawberries normally come in plastics. No matter where they are, they normally come in a container full of plastic. Some carrots. So I got three carrots. These are ginormous. I got two tomatoes. I also got two avocados. These avocados are quite large, so I'm really happy that I got these bad boys. I do already have uh, three in my fridge so by the time I get around these bad boys they're gonna be delicious I also got a tiny 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 little lettuce um, I just wanted lettuce one for tacos and also for lettuce cups later in the week I also got some celery and I was so happy they actually had celery without the plastic on it so I got four little 
stalks. The last thing I got, I was actually a little bit disappointed with the lady that served me today. So everything was like plastic free and I even said to Frederick while we were at the counter, I was like, Frederick, we, we did really good. We only got one thing, it was plastic. And then the lady grabs my grapes, which weren't wrapped in plastic. I just had them in the bundles because they had grapes that you could just pick out yourself. So I grabbed them because I was like, yes, plastic free. I don't have to grab grapes that are in a plastic container. And then she wraps my grapes in plastic. And I didn't ask her, but she wraps my grapes in plastic. Oh well, they're wrapped. What am I gonna do? Nothing now. So I ended up spending $99.85 at Woolworths, which I thought was a little bit expensive, but I did get some things that weren't on my list, like dog food, the Cornettos weren't on my list. And at the fresh food marketplace, I totally spaced and I was like, no, I don't want my receipt. And then I got into the car and I was like, Amy, you want your receipt? You need to tell everybody how much you spent. But I did spend like, I think she said like $18. But yeah, that is everything that I got today while I was shopping for my food this week. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I got. And yeah, I guess I will head off and I'll put all my groceries away. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.